Hi and welcome to TRX Bench. Well, today uh, I want to share with you a nice uh, kit which uh, I found recently um, on the web. And uh, well, we all know this kind here uh, of uh, crystal, so we have it uh, everywhere in our radios and uh, it is really important uh, to know that uh, these crystals are working if you have uh, some problems uh, with uh, the oscillator circuit uh, or so and uh, therefore it uh, really would be uh, cool to be able to uh, test these uh, crystals and uh, yeah as I said there uh, is a very nice uh, kit on uh, the web so uh, you can uh, buy it online uh, it is only um, nine bucks or so and uh, yeah we uh, just want to have a look um, into this here and uh, see if uh, it is a decent uh, lab helper or not and uh, yeah let's look a little bit uh, more into this and of course here from uh, the package uh, we cannot really see anything but um, this here might be a better overview so uh, it is really a complete uh, kit and uh, the beauty is that uh, we really can read uh, the frequency I know that uh, there are a lot of um, do-it-yourself projects uh, on the web and um, even here on YouTube and uh, of course you can build a little circuit uh, you pick or you put your uh, crystal into that and then you can check with the scope um, if you know the crystal is working and of course you can read out uh, the frequency here uh, it is uh, really nice and uh, we will see if uh, it is in reality that promising as uh, it looks on the first glance so uh, we really only need uh, to put here our crystal into uh, this uh, plugs and uh, if the crystal is working uh, fine then we can read the frequency of the crystal and uh, that will tell us uh, first if the crystal is working uh, in general and additional to that we get the information uh, about the crystal frequency and yeah that uh, is uh, really a nice idea so let's uh, see uh, how it works out okay so let's uh, cut it open and uh, let's see uh, what we find uh, inside okay so we uh, have here uh, our PCB and um, you are on the first uh, glance uh, it really seems to be uh, a decent uh, quality so uh, so that is really uh, no problem then uh, this is of course here uh, our uh, housing so we have seen uh, on the picture that uh, it is a translucent um, uh, housing so here are only uh, the covers uh, over it so uh, it is uh, paper so we can uh, put it away and uh, we have a good quality resistors here and um, transistors and uh, knobs and uh, what have we and uh, of course here our little um, microcontroller unit and some uh, mechanical parts and uh, the display and uh, yeah so the uh, MCU is uh, a pick um, so we will have a look into that uh, in, a, in, in, in a bit and uh, we have here um, a USB cable uh, for powering our circuit uh, up so that all uh, looks quite nice so let's go ahead okay so that here uh, is the whole um, yeah construction uh, information um, which comes uh, with it 
and uh, the first what you can see it is uh, called uh, frequency counter and uh, that it is uh, what it is called uh, as way as well it is called a uh, frequency counter but uh, i really would not uh, suggest uh, this kit here as um, serious um, frequency counter so you know the um, quality and the accuracy is um, not uh, even given that you can seriously use it as a frequency, count frequency counter but um, it is uh, really good and I hope that uh, we can confirm it at the end uh, when we have tested it uh, we can really use it as a crystal tester and uh, that is much more um, interesting than uh, using it as a frequency counter. Well, the copy here is uh, not very good. So you really can't read here on the copy uh, where are our resistors, diodes and what have we um, have to go. But um, our uh, quality here, uh, the PCB uh, quality uh, itself is uh, much better so we uh, can read um, here the printing on uh, the board so that means that uh, we are able to identify where the resistor um, and uh, diodes uh, have to go and we can identify the orientation here from uh, the diodes and of course here from our microcontroller so um, <laughs> that is funny look here so here we have a, a crystal tester printed on the board so uh, what is it now um, a frequency counter or uh, um, a crystal tester ah well I, it, it is both in 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 some way but uh, i think um, it, it really uh, seriously can uh, only used as a crystal tester and that is why we are looking um, at this uh, kit here so okay so that uh, um, is uh, fine so we can identify where uh, it has to go and uh, this list here um, is telling us the values so uh, for instance here r1 is a 100k resistor uh, r2 r3 r5 are 10k uh, resistors and uh, so we can work through um, so that means uh, this little list will uh, help uh, to find the right place here on um, the pcb and yeah here is a little uh, schematic but uh, honestly we will not really need it so uh, we simply hope that uh, our uh, components given here uh, with the kit are uh, all working uh, fine and uh, that the pick uh, itself let me try to get it out is um, programmed in the right way so uh, of course we uh, need um, the program already written here onto this little pick and you see um, it is a pick 16f62 uh, what is it uh, I read it here through my uh, little display and um, I'm not sure uh, is it an 8? I don't know, but uh, you will uh, see it much better on a bigger screen. So that is a PIC, that is a microcontroller and uh, the program that this uh, little circuit uh, will work, um, this is here very very important. Okay, so just uh, an idea how uh, to proceed when uh, you are doing uh, such boards. So, um, yeah, components uh, should always uh, solder it uh, here to our uh, board uh, from low to high. So that means um, that 
uh, we take first here uh, the lower components like uh, for instance this uh, diode here and uh, when uh, we uh, place it here on the board so you see it is uh, very very low so what you always uh, should do first put the low components first to a PCB and then after that of course uh, you put uh, the higher components um, yeah, which uh, are simply from their um, construction um, higher on the board so um, doing it uh, this way it is uh, easier to uh, go ahead and um, yeah so let us do it uh, exactly that way so uh, we start uh, for instance here with uh, our resistors and uh, as we have already seen here on uh, our list uh, our R1 which uh, is uh, here this uh, resistor um, should be the 100k one and uh, let us uh, do this first well maybe um, some uh, additional um, advices especially for young players so um, if you have a board like this uh, you uh, easily see uh, that uh, we have traces here on this side and uh, we have traces traces here on this side so that means it is a double sided uh, board and uh, now it is very important to check if here uh, our holes uh, our throughs are really uh, connected uh, through and I do not really know if uh, yeah, we can see it here through the camera but uh, this uh, holes here this throughs are uh, really connected uh, through so that means um, uh, there is a connection already from uh, the bottom to uh, the front side that means um, if you put a component in you really only need uh, to solder it uh, on uh, one side uh, if it is a double-sided board and uh, you do not see that uh, there is already a through ton connection done then you really need uh, to solder your component uh, on both sides so on the front side and on the bottom side to be um, to be sure that uh, you have your uh, connections uh, to the second uh, layer that uh, uh, is sometimes seen uh, with uh, very cheap boards or maybe you have uh, done your own uh, double-sided uh, PCB then it might be important uh, to solder it on both sides so this board is uh, a much better quality so um, it is just fine but uh, I think that uh, is important to know and uh, you always should have an eye on that now where now uh, where we have now here uh, our 100 K uh, resistor I mean of course uh, we have our color code uh, and I do not want to teach now the color code uh, so there are much more um, videos on YouTube so that is not uh, our point but uh, today uh, we have all um, uh, a meter and uh, it is always a good idea even uh, if you're not so familiar with uh, the color code it is so easy just uh, to use here your uh, meter and uh, you double check and uh, we have seen our R1 should be in a 100k resistor and you see we have here 99.9 uh, kilo ohm so with uh, the tolerances which are given uh, this is the 100k resistor and now we are sure that uh, we really have the right component so you really can uh, avoid a lot of problems with kits if you uh, are really confirm uh, the color code uh, on your uh, component by simply testing it uh, with uh, your digital multimeter so that really helps 
Another question uh, what uh, I really often hear is um, how can uh, we bend here our um, components uh, that it fits here into uh, or onto our PCB and um, well uh, personally I uh, like uh, to do it uh, manually you know I uh, simply put it here onto the PCB and uh, I take uh, a player and uh, now I can really bend it uh, in a 90 degree angle and uh, I do it on uh, both sides uh, like so and now uh, you see it is um, done and now I can uh, put it in and uh, you see uh, now I have uh, the component in and um, I like to do it all in the same uh, direction so that you can read uh, the color cord, uh, code here on the board. Then uh, you bend it here on uh, the um, on this side here in a way that uh, it don't uh, drop uh, out and uh, now we can already uh, solder it in. Um, if you feel not uh, so confident uh, by doing it uh, with uh, a player, then uh, of course uh, we have uh, this tool here which uh, is uh, on the market and uh, you can uh, place uh, your uh, component here into or uh, yeah into into this uh, tool like so and uh, now you can bend it right that uh, you have the right uh, distance uh, to put it in board on board and you see we have really here different uh, distances because of course our uh, holes here uh, on the board can have uh, different uh, distances so uh, that uh, we can uh, check out here first um, with the tool which uh, might be here uh, the right um, distance and uh, when I found uh, the right distance here with um, the tool um, I can uh, put here my uh, component in and then I can bend it and then uh, you have uh, really uh, nicely bended uh, components um, for the PCB and uh, that means uh, when you have finished your board it uh, really looks uh, very professional and uh, nobody will uh, even recognize uh, that it uh, has been done uh, uh, by uh, yourself, right? Okay, so uh, enough uh, tips uh, for uh, young players. So let us uh, simply uh, start and uh, I will fill now all uh, the resistors. Um, onto the board and uh, yeah I uh, will be back when uh, all resistors are on, all diodes are on and then we uh, take uh, the next step. Alright so now all um, the more or less uh, flat components are on the board and um, you see um, I have already uh, the diodes in so uh, please take um, care on the polarity of uh, the diodes and uh, now we can go ahead with um, capacitors because they will build up a little higher and uh, of course so um, um, that means that uh, now our capacitors are next. Okay so all um, the lower components uh, are in and even here our crystal 20 uh, megahertz uh, crystal and uh, well um, I mean to put in um, the transistors and voltage regulators and uh, so forth I would try to do that um, at uh, really last step because um, this components uh, transistors and ICs and all the active components are the most heat 
uh, sensitive components so you should try to do that um, uh, if possible um, last well uh, for uh, our little IC so our microcontroller we uh, got a socket with uh, the, the kit so uh, we can now put uh, the socket in because we really need uh, to get it flat here on uh, to our PCB and then maybe uh, we uh, take here uh, our display uh, because here it is uh, also very important uh, to get it flat here on the board and uh, you know if uh, we maybe put first here uh, our DC connector so you see the DC connector is a bit higher than uh, the display and uh, even if you are not so familiar with uh, building uh, kits then uh, you see now you can't uh, put it here flat uh, onto your uh, workbench uh, to solder for instance here our IC, uh, our uh, display in and uh, the risk is very high that you uh, get it in like uh, something um, looking like this so uh, therefore uh, it might be good to do first um, you know the display that uh, you really are sure um, it is uh, flat here on the board and uh, the same of course is um, important here for uh, our socket and uh, be aware on uh, the orientation so you see here a little notch and uh, of course we uh, have it here with uh, the socket uh, as well so uh, that uh, of course means we should uh, put here our uh, notch uh, as well and now you see the same what we have seen with uh, the DC uh, socket uh, now um, our display is uh, too high so therefore now uh, it might be a good idea to put uh, the socket in because now you can uh, put it here onto the bench and uh, you can make sure that it is really nicely in and um, in, 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 in this case it is really nice that uh, we have here uh, our socket because we uh, can uh, easily swap uh, our IC uh, if we have um, problems uh, with it and uh, therefore uh, it is no problem to solder in the socket because there is no uh, heat uh, sensitivity um, as much as uh, we would it have it here with the microcontroller and uh, as I said um, especially for um, beginners um, you know uh, you really have to be uh, careful with the heat so you should not overheat a component and even uh, the active components transistors ICs regulators and what have we are let me say it again more heat, uh, heat uh, sensitive so um, be careful uh, with it because you can potentially damage it and therefore it is good to do this first so you can't uh, damage anything and uh, here our resistors and you know our uh, capacitors are not so critical yeah now uh, it is uh, installed in the explained way and uh, you see uh, all is uh, nicely uh, flat in here in uh, our circuit uh, especially for the display so uh, take care that uh, you have uh, the dots uh, down uh, here um, because otherwise uh, it would be turned around <laughs> yeah and as already uh, said now uh, we uh, yeah, need to see how to proceed so maybe uh, our switch here first because um, it is uh, built here on uh, the same high as you can see and uh, then maybe uh, our DC connector and so on and so on and of course uh, here our um, wire 
connector. So yeah, that is uh, how you would like it. But uh, as I uh, said, I put uh, the um, transistors here in um, at uh, last step. And uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let me uh, finish uh, it up and uh, then we uh, can uh, take it in service and uh, see if it works. All right, so circuit uh, is ready and uh, we can start uh, testing it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you know the description here is uh, not really helpful and uh, the copy is uh, very bad as um, we have to set here uh, a jumper which uh, is to distinguish between uh, crystal testing and frequency testing and uh, here on um, you know the description you can't really uh, see it so we have uh, to test it and there is no information about uh, this button here, so don't know what it is for. Um, anyways, the uh, one I was able to uh, find out, uh, which was written here in um, our little description, is when you connect uh, power to the circuit and um, it comes up a zero at uh, the f uh, force uh, digit uh, then it uh, is the indication that everything is right so let's uh, do it first so cross fingers and whoops yeah so a zero which uh, is indicating uh, that everything uh, is good and um, okay so I do not have an idea where to uh, place here the little jumper so let's uh, simply test here um, on the first bows okay we still see um, our zero don't know if it is right but um, hopeful hopefully and uh, I have here a 10 uh, megahertz crystal. I think you can see it. Yeah. Hmm. Let's uh, try it. So let me put it in. And wow, that is nice. So it is really telling us uh, 10 megahertz. So it seems that uh, everything uh, works uh, fine. And um, yeah, that is more or less the proof that uh, everything uh, is good. And I've found a nice picture here on uh, the web, which uh, I want to show you. So this is a picture, uh, what I already showed you in the intro. But uh, I just uh, want to com come uh, back to it because uh, you uh, can see some folds and um, that is uh, the reason uh, why this circuit uh, never worked I'm quite uh, sure so have a look uh, first here uh, to the diodes so you see that uh, this is and I believe this one is uh, the wrong way um, in so that is definitely uh, a problem and uh, secondly have a look here to the display so you see that uh, the dots are up which is also wrong and uh, it uh, will not uh, work because you uh, get uh, all uh, the signals to be able to uh, operate the display are now on the wrong pins so therefore this will not work and I only show it to you uh, that uh, you really should uh, take your time and uh, do it very carefully that uh, you really avoid um, problems like this. This here is another picture and uh, you see here 
uh, everything is uh, good so uh, I do not see a fault so all the transistors are right the diodes are right the display is right the IC here the notch is right and uh, you see these are our 1k resistors and then we had the 10 and the 100k so uh, everything uh, looks quite nice here so that is the difference take your time okay and uh, the next step uh, now will be uh, that uh, we um, put it here into uh, our little uh, housing so let me do that and uh, yeah then um, we can uh, see how it looks like okay so our tester is in the little housing so really I uh, like it so um, really not bad that uh, you do not have uh, only your PCB um, ah, so it is great if you get uh, a housing like this with a circuit so if you order it on uh, eBay where you can find it under crystal tester just church search for a crystal tester there you can uh, find it so uh, this cheapest uh, I found was um, 7.5 um, euro or a dollar so really really a nice uh, circuit um, okay so let's uh, test it a little bit more again we get uh, our zero uh, what I really don't like I mean um, we know now that uh, this setting here is uh, for crystal testing and I do not want to check um, frequency testing so that doesn't make any sense in uh, my opinion because I only want to use it as a crystal uh, tester um, anyway so this should uh, be uh, easier to um, change but anyway so that is no problem okay so we have seen that uh, it worked with uh, our 10 uh, megahertz uh, crystal which uh, is uh, this here and you see uh, 10 uh, megahertz is uh, indicated very nice and now I have here uh, some different uh, crystals with different uh, frequencies so this uh, for instant don't know if you can read it 4.433619 so <laughs> yeah we have not enough digit uh, to test it and yeah uh, so maybe this already shows little weakness uh, to uh, get it in here uh, through our housing into here yeah, that is a little bit annoying to be to be um, to be honest could that could be a bit a little bit better but anyways uh, it might be a uh, two um, is it a little bit too bright here but you see um, it is 4.434 and uh, it is as I said uh, no focus it is 4. Point, uh, let me take it out 4.4336 4.4340 so very close I think uh, that is reasonable good so let's uh, test another one which is 10 point uh, what is it no 11.059 uh, oops here it is so let's uh, test this and you see this is not uh, the best idea but anyways and it is uh, showing us uh, 11.060 again it is uh, 11 zero five nine two so very close so obviously uh, it is uh, working uh, fine so this is a 
four eight. 24.8, let's check, oh, have a look, 20.480, so really um, it looks good. I mean if uh, you uh, have uh, something like this, this is a 18, no that is not the one I meant, uh, if you have uh, something like uh, this, we have tested before, 4.4, three three six one nine um, so of course we do not have enough uh, digit uh, to test it here in the little circuit but uh, then uh, maybe you have uh, to do it uh, with a high resolution uh, frequency counter but uh, anyways uh, this will definitely uh, give you uh, a first um, information if a crystal is fine or not 18432 let's see okay 18427 and it should be 43 i believe or what was it what was it 432 well, you see this uh, might be a little bit uh, out of range um, we have seen here the brand new one is uh, indicating uh, exactly our uh, 10 uh, megahertz right so that uh, seems uh, to be an indication um, that uh, it is working uh, fine and uh, relatively accurate well, we uh, have to uh, compare it with uh, a high um, uh, resolution one um, and high accuracy one. But anyways, it really shows that it is doing a job and uh, for approximately 10 bucks, just fine. Okay, um, I really stop the video here. I hope you uh, get all the information. I hope it was not too boring for uh, the more experienced uh, friends out there but uh, maybe for a beginner um, I put a lot of information in to be able to get it working and uh, really take your time make sure that uh, you put in all in the right direction do the solder work um, with care and then you can uh, be sure that your circuit circuit will work um, and um, yeah so therefore let me stop here I hope you enjoyed it a little bit and uh, if you like it give me a big uh, thumb up and catch you next time bye